Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can replicate data from an Oracle database into BigQuery using Cloud Data Fusion's Replication Accelerator. My name's Rachel Deacon Smith, and I'm a developer advocate at Google Cloud. If you're an ETL developer or a data analyst, you may want to continuously replicate your operational data into BigQuery in real time so you can make timely data driven business decisions. DataFusion's wizard-driven accelerator integrates with DataStream, Google Cloud serverless, and easy-to-use change data capture service. This end-to-end -end cloud native solution will fuel your analytic environment with instant insights, removing the need to develop bespoke and high-maintenance solutions. So let's jump into the demo. Creating a new replication job with Cloud Data Fusion is super easy. You first want to launch Data Fusion from the Cloud Console, and you can find this under the Big Data section. If you don't have a Cloud Data Fusion instance yet, you'll need to create one. So you'll need to specify some basic parameters such as the instance name and the region. And you'll also need to add the Replication Accelerator. You'll also need to make sure that both the Data Fusion and Data Proc service accounts have the data stream admin role assigned to them. And you can do this from the IAM page in the Google Cloud Console. Okay, so once your instance is ready, you're now ready to configure your Oracle to BigQuery replication. So we'll just click on the tile named Replicate. And then on the big green button, selecting Create a Replication Job. Setting up the replication is super easy because we have a wizard-driven UI that will guide you through the entire process. So you just need to provide a name and a description, and then you can select the source database type. So while you can replicate from MySQL or SQL Server, we're interested in replicating from an Oracle source. So we'll pick Oracle by DataStream. And then we need to provide the source connection details. So we'll need to enter the region. We need to provide the host name and the port. We need to give a system identifier and add any credentials that we need to connect to our database. We also want to bring with us a historical backfill, so we'll leave the replicate existing data setting enabled. Next, you want to pick the source objects. So these are the tables and the columns that you want to replicate. So for example, in a given table, we can choose whether to replicate all columns or to select a subset of columns that we want to replicate. We can also choose the type of events to replicate such as inserts, updates, and deletes. Once we're happy with our selection, we can just click Next to configure the target. Since Cloud Data Fusion is fully integrated with the rest of Google Cloud's ecosystem, configuring the BigQuery target is pretty simple. You just provide some basic information, such as the BigQuery dataset name, and you're ready to go. You can actually leave the dataset details blank to default to the name of the source database or schema. So we can click Next to configure now the advanced properties. So if you have a good idea on the amount of data that you're planning to replicate, you can tweak the replication configuration here. So for example, how much data you expect to replicate in an hour. I'm happy with this as it is, so I won't make any changes. Once the source and target details are provided, the replication wizard will automatically perform a pre-deployment assessment and proactively advise you on any potential issues prior to the replication deployment. So for example, it can point out any schema compatibility issues between the source and the target. And in this case, the assessment has indicated that we're missing a feature. So by clicking on the missing features link, I can drill down into the issue. And in this case, realize that I'm missing a primary key. So once I fix my problems in the source, I can just click the refresh button on the top right corner and move on to the summary page. After reviewing all the parameters provided, all that's left to do is click the Deploy Replication Job to start your job. And once the replication is running, monitoring is super simple. You can natively monitor the replication progress, the errors, and the throughput and latency via a centralized and easy to use UI. And now once your data is in BigQuery, you'll be ready to run real-time analytics or build a robust reporting platform by connecting to business intelligence services like Looker to build powerful real-time business dashboards, ultimately allowing you to take immediate actions based on streaming data. 
So that's it. I've quickly shown you how to easily replicate data from an Oracle database into BigQuery using a wizard-driven Cloud Data Fusion Accelerator that is integrated with Google Cloud serverless and easy to use CDC offering. I hope you've enjoyed it. So you can get started from the Google Cloud Console or learn more at cloud.google.com forward slash data hyphen fusion. Thanks so much for watching.